Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR. In today's video I'm going to show you how to connect the Yaesu FTDX 101 MP with a MacBook. In my case I have a MacBook Pro, it's 2011 model. I'll show you the configurations in the radio and the configuration setup for WSJTX on FT8. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. All the information that I'm showing you I got from this website and I'll link the description down below. So first thing we're going to do we're going to look at the radio and set it up correctly. Okay, the first thing we need to do on the radio, we need to look at the operation settings. First thing you do is push function, operation settings, under the general tab. We're looking for 232C rate. We want to change that. It's defaulted at 4800. We want to put 38,400 bots per second. The next thing is the cat rate. So let's look for cat rate, and that rate is at set as default 38,400 bots per second. Once that's done, you back out of there. Function. Let's go under radio settings. Under radio settings, the mode SSB, we're looking for SSB modulation source right here. We want to select the rear. Next, rear select, we want to choose USB. Under the R port gain, I went ahead and set it to 30, and I believe that's used to adjust the ALC. So for now, my settings are 30. Okay, back out. The next thing you're looking at is the R fill. We want 3 kilohertz. We're going to adjust the width next. We want to adjust the width to 4,000 hertz. All right, to adjust the width, you rotate the outer dial until it says 4,000 hertz. Okay, this is an important part here. Uh, we're going to make sure that the Kodak is set properly. So what we need to do here on the MacBook we go under application, you click on utilities, and under the audio MIDI setup, you're looking for the codec. All right, so I'm not seeing the codec here. That's because the USB cable is not currently connected, and it's right here. It's not currently connected. So let me connect that to the computer. So it's connected to the computer. All right, so here's the codec, the USB codec. Okay, this one is codec number one and codec number two. All right, so default, it's set at two channels, 16 bits at 48 kilohertz on both of them. When I did that on the earlier test today, it kept dropping out. I kept losing the the USB codec drivers. So what I read on the internet is that you must change this from 48 kilohertz to 44.1 kilohertz. So it's this this one here. 44.1 kilohertz, two channels, 16 bit integers. Okay, select that and also for the other one. There you go. 
So you do that so that it doesn't drop off. I thought maybe perhaps it was RF in the shack, but then when I did further research, they recommend that you change that setting and the majority of the Mac users, um, it, it started to work for them. Okay, so the configuration, we've already did all that. The codec, the FTDX 101 MP settings, and we also did that for the Apple computer. So the next thing we need to start is the WSJT software. So the first thing you do when you power up the WSJT software, we have to configure the rig. So my settings, you go to WSJTX go to preferences under general those are my settings there and then under radio I'm using the Yaesu FTDX 101 MP alright and the serial port it's actually this you got some drop downs you don't want to use a Bluetooth so it's the DEV slant CU dot s l a b underscore u s b to u a r t that's what you want to select uh, okay and the baud rate is 38,400 8 data bits 2 stop bits and the handshaking I put it on default the ptt method is cat and the mode is none and uh, split operations I fake it so you test it we have an error here, invalid configuration. Okay, so if that doesn't work, try a different one. Let's use this one, the one with the dev slash cu dot slab underscore usb to uart 10. So give that a test. It's green, test to push to talk, and that works. So that's what I found. You have to try this one. If that doesn't work, try the, the next serial port. And click OK. If you look here on the bottom right, you can see I have a receive signal. I'm going to turn on the audio frequency so you can hear. OK. Yeah, it's working. I'm picking up signals on the spectrum analyzer next thing you want to do let's go back to the top under preferences let's take a look at the audio make sure the USB audio are selected and under reporting I went ahead and prompt me to log a QSO enable the PSK reporting reporter spotting and I went ahead and clicked these three boxes they accept UDP requests, notify on accepted UDP requests, and the last box is accepted UDP request restores window. And uh, I went ahead and clicked the enable the log contact ADIF broadcast, and that's the default settings. Right now, I don't have the logging program installed. I just want to show you how I have it quickly configured. Okay. So that's WSJTX. Okay, next we're going to open up Grid Tracker. And uh, there's really not much to do with Grid Tracker with Grid Tracker because it's already pretty much configured to the uh, the IP address. So I'm going to make this big. You can see I'm receiving data from WSJTX. I want to make that full screen so you can see the activities. Someone's calling CQ for North America. That's why it's all highlighted in red. Okay, let's minimize this grid tracker. I'm going to move it to the right of the screen. As far as settings go, you will see that sometimes the 
uh, your reception it's a little too high so what you need to do is go to your radio and adjust the main uh, RF gain to bring it down so I'm gonna bring it down just right about there that's good enough and I'm gonna call CQ I'm gonna enable my transmitter I'm turning the volume on the radio I am transmitting right now I'm pushing only about a hundred watts out We have WA7 RCT. I have an alert, so it's this guy here. I turn on my monitor so I can hear myself transmitting. We also got EA five ET. I don't know what happened to the other one, but I'm talking to EA5 ET right now. He's in Spain. There's my QSO. And it says 73s. I'm pushing at 100 watts. I'm using the Yaesu FTDX 101 MP. Well, that's just a, an example of how to set up the WSJTX and utilizing Grid Tracker. Again, it's very important. Again, if, if you set this up on a Mac and if it doesn't work, go under Application, go under MIDI, I mean, I'm sorry, go under application, go under utilities, and under the audio MIDI setup, adjust the format from 48 kilohertz to 44.1. That prevents you from losing connectivity with the radio using the audio codec. Hall transmission, I'm shutting her down. Well, there you have it. That's all to it. Setting up the Yaesu FTDX101MP to the MacBook Pro. In my case, mine is a 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro. If you like my videos, please consider to subscribe, give me a like, thumbs up, share it with those that are struggling in configuring their computers uh, with the FTDX101, their MacBook Pros or MacBook. My name is Captain Darren, my call sign, and 4VFR. Till next time, have a great day Facebook, 73s.